Hey guys, it's Paul. I want to give you as fast as I can an introduction to GoFundMe, GoFundMe.com, a place where you can crowdfund pretty much for anything. If you've got something where you need to raise money for, or you've got some sort of endeavor that you want to follow, you can ask your friends and family and your community and your network to, to donate a little bit of money towards it. Uh, I've specifically thought about this today because obviously I'm seeing obviously things with coronavirus uh, and families are going to be struggling, especially if you've been asked to stay on from work and you're not getting paid. Uh, so there's nothing, to me, there's nothing wrong with asking your friends and family to help out. There's people like me um, who are making money online. I can carry on working. So if I can help people, I will as well. And I've been thinking with Happy Me, I'm going to start sharing some people's GoFundMe pages to um, try and help them get uh, whatever they need. So uh, what I'll do is I'll put, if you look in the list, in the in description, I always put itemized places where each lesson starts. I'll put a free training course together as well. But in this video, you'll get everything you need. But in the description, I'll put where every lesson starts the time-wise. So you can jump past things that you don't need to know, right? Uh, what's great now, what I'll do is I'll do this once every year to, to update people on how it works. If you pause me now and tell me what you're here, what you're looking to do, and what information you're trying to get out of this video, I'll comment with you because if it's not in the video, I'll send a video. I'll send you to a place that'll show you the information, or I'll just reply, um, or I'll create a video for you. So tell me why you're here. Pause me now. Tell me why you're here. And finally, if I give you any, um, uh, if this gives you any help, a subscription or a subscribe would be amazing, and we'll get into it. Right. Let's first talk about pricing uh, and exactly how it works. Right. So. Uh, I'm on the UK version. Uh, in the United, everything's a little bit different. These are these are obviously the only places that you can do it. You can't do it everywhere in the world yet. Looking at this, but in the United Kingdom, so what happens is as you sell your GoFundMe page, it will cost you, the person receiving the money, nothing, nothing. Right? You don't have to pay to do it, uh, and you don't have to uh, commit to anything in the future to do it. So for you, it is free. So the question is, how GoFundMe? How does GoFundMe make money? Well, what it does, it takes a cut of every donation, right? So if in the UK, GoFundMe platform for you is free. Um, the transaction fees are 2.9% plus 25p on every donation. So what's that? Oh my God. Um, was it 2.9%? So on a, on a £10 donation... Uh, what's 2.9 percent? Two pound ninety plus 25p, so it's going to cost three pound fifteen. So for it's for if someone donates ten pound, GoFundMe are going to take three pound of that, three pound fifteen of that, right? Same further up a thousand, they're going to take three percent of it. Well, sorry, they're going to take two point nine percent plus um 25p, right? So if you're asking for a pound. They're going to take 2.9 pence plus another 25 pence. So they're going to take, if, if someone donates a pound to you, they're going to take um, 28, 29 pence, right? So that's how they make money, right? Uh, it's included with that, and that that is how they take their cut. I should have really done my maths better. I, I never understand how bad I am at maths until I start. Um, I, I used to be all right at maths, but then now you just have a calculator on your... On your um, on your computer, don't you? So same in America, 2.9% plus 30, uh, 30 cents per donation. Um, and Australia, 2.2% plus 30. So every country is a little bit different. 2.4, but then they have this crazy tax thing that they do. So that is how GoFundMe is going to make money, right? You're going to get 97% of the donation. Let's take it as that, right? They're going to take 3% cut. Now, what else you need to worry about or not worry about or think about is how does this um, affect my income tax? So when I go to here, it says donations made to GoFundMe campaigns are usually considered to be personal gifts, which for the most part aren't taxed income. So it's basically your friends giving you a fiver. Here's a fiver to go and do that thing. The government is saying that's probably okay. But it's hazy, isn't it? However, there are there may be particular case specific instances where the income is in fact taxable. 
depending on amounts received, use of the funds, use of the funds, etc. So you recommend you keep your records, uh, donations received, uh, and consult a tax professional. So it's going to be dependent on what you're asking for the money for. I'm pretty sure if you you know if you're doing it for a personal, I'm not going to say anything actually. I don't know, but they're basically saying for in the most part. It's probably going to be considered a personal gift if you're just asking for ten dollars, twenty dollars. If you're getting into the thousands and you're asking for people for a lot of money, you might need to just keep an eye on that, right? So, in essence, it's not going to affect your um, uh, tax income too much. But don't quote me on that, right? Let's have a quick look around at some other donation pages uh, or GoFundMe pages, and then we'll set up our own, right? So let's have a look around. Uh, it's heartbreaking if you look into a few of these, but let's just go down to the bottom and have a look. Like, uh, Mexbury, oh, it's, oh, so this, this, these are all the ones near me, right? So, what's this one? Mexbury, Yorkshire. Uh, we know this can't change things, but it can help my cousin Sean out of a little. Let's have a look. Oh, Sean Shepherd, Ashley Robbins, where uh, we know it's kind of a Sean a little bit of the next few months, a bit easier. So, anyone want to help Sean and Lindsay, feel free. He's now in a coma after an accident as hard working kid. So Sean's in a coma and they've asked their friends to to raise some money towards it. Doesn't say why. Obviously it's a personal thing. And then the friends have donated. So this is what's going to donate, right? Well, I would say if, if if you're looking at this and you're thinking I need something trivial, but then you look at other gold giving go just go for me pages. Don't don't um compare yourself to somebody else's situation so that's somebody in a coma asking for a thousand pound probably to help the family out right if you're a youtuber and you need to buy a new camera and you haven't you're not making any money and you want to say i i what i've got i, I want to make my videos better but i need to buy a 500 hundred dollar camera it would be great to you know you know if you could help me buy it perfect right don't worry about asking for that your fans likes followers they will choose whether you're worthy or whether it's something they want to help you out with, right? So don't, you know, don't don't worry too much. There are a lot of people on here and a lot of things that are being promoted will be people with serious illnesses, right? You're not taking away from these people, right? Your friend Dave isn't going to Sean's page in Mexbra if you live in America to, to help him with, you know, because he's in a coma, right? So... Oh God! What are we on here? How does some so you may what you may do is I don't know what that is. It looks oh God! Someone stabbed a horse. God, you got to love living near me, ain't you? Um, basically, what you can do on your page is you don't maybe even need to do a lot of information if you're posting it to facebook friends if you're posting it to your youtube channel so you might say on your youtube video i've got a gofundme page here's you know i'm trying to buy a new camera i'm trying to you know uh, do something or I hire somebody to make my content better um you may not need to to, to spell out exactly on your uh gofundme page exactly what's happening because wherever you've sent them from people understand right so you don't have to worry. What I'm saying is you don't have to worry that you're not a great writer or a great salesperson uh, on the on the page itself, right? Right, so they weren't great examples. Well, let's look at some coronavirus stuff specifically because this is sort of why I thought of doing it. Start a fundraiser, donate to coronavirus. Uh, and you'll see a lot of people starting to put um, things. A lot, a lot of businesses maybe struggling. A lot of uh, houses looking for, you know, meals. Here we go, Border South England, emergency funding. Coronavirus is causing some disruption with Pony Pals bookings. We ultimately could lead to a permanent closure of Pony Pals if we cannot raise some funds to keep the team going through these uncertain times. So it looks like it looks like they take ponies to uh, dementia patients or to elderly. And they obviously can't do that at the minute. Uh, and they're asking for £2,000. And they've had 35 donations. Um, so that is... Sort of, if you're, if you're struggling with anything coronavirus related, it is definitely the right time to start something uh, for your business or in person. Uh, Brighton, get Annie home. 
Annie, uh, her family and family because flights are due to get cancelled. She wants to get home somehow, so she's got a £150 one. So there's a lot of different things that you can use it for, right? But all you're going to do is set it up and, and obviously share it with your network, right? Right, so let's get started. Let's start a GoFundMe page, right? So we're going to go up here, start a GoFundMe, put in your information and press next, right? Right, so then you come to this page, enter your goal here, which is obviously your money. It says here. You can always change your goal amount later if you're not sure where to start. Most campaigns have a goal of a thousand. Okay, let's go for it, right? Campaign title. Well, I've been talking about a YouTube camera video, and so let's talk about raising money for a camera. Need a new camera for YouTube videos, right? Let's keep it simple and easy. Uh, for myself or someone else or a charity or an organization. So if you're a business, you may want to have to put organization there uh, if you run your own self-employed. But if you are just a freelance uh, amateur, put myself or someone else. Postcode, put in your postcode. Uh, do, I'll put mine in, but use mine. Oh, that's not it. Right, it's going to find your address. And... You're going to pick a category. So in this case, it's going to be... I'm going to go this one. Creative Arts, Music and Film for YouTube. But obviously, whatever you're doing, pick your category, whatever it might be. Uh, and if you don't know, if you can't find whichever one you want, you just put in other. It's just going to, it's just going to fil filter into a category on on uh, when anybody's searching for stuff, aren't they? But you're going to share it with your friends anyway. Fundraise as an individual. I am the sole person or with a team. So if you've got a few people going to organise it, Obviously, click a team, but if it's just you, click an individual and next. Oh, I didn't put in a thousand. So put in uh, whatever that value is up the top and next. Uh, add a cover photo, up, upload a photo, or add a YouTube video. So if you've created a YouTube video, you can add a video. So this is in your header, right? So if you've just got a picture, upload a picture. I'm not sure I've got anything I can use. Let's, let's go. Um, Let's just add a. Should I have one of my YouTube videos? Let's have a look at your channel. Videos. Uh, duh, duh. I don't know what. I, uh, whoa. I just let's just go with my latest one, which is actually a, a a podcast. But obviously, if you've if you want to select a Facebook photo, you connect your your Facebook here. You want to upload a photo. Uh, that's not me. Image, here we go. That's a picture of me. You say that picture is going to be too too square. I think you can add your picture. You all know how to add photos to things. Or if you want to add your YouTube video, you just paste in that YouTube video link, and that's going to grab that and add it. So let's go with that. Tell your story here. So uh, I'm looking to upgrade my YouTube. Camera, I've been using my phone. I need to level up. Right, whatever it says, it says here, look, to raise money, describe who will benefit, describe what the funds will be used for, explain how soon you need the funds, talk about what, ha what support you will, and show how grateful you will be for their help. So you can say, a bit like Patreon, you can say, if you give me a donation, I'll do something in return. If, you know, I'll do a video for you or I'll give you a shout out in my next video or something, right? You can, you know, you can show how, or, you know, you just say, look, I love you forever for helping me out. I'd just be so grateful you'll do me a favor. So you'll get it. What do you need to use it for? What do you need the money for? How soon do you need the money? Um, what it will mean to you in your business or whatever it is uh, in your you'll be flying. You can obviously, you've got a few options here. You can obviously highlight this and click bold. You can add a link, uh, YouTube channel. You can probably highlight this and then click link. Link to your YouTube channel, youtube.com. I don't know what, Paul Nicholson go. I don't know that is me. Right, but you can add a link. 
and you can put another photo or a video so you go back to that ugly mug that I have I can add that photo save it I wouldn't I wouldn't use that photo if you want to put a video in again same as before add a video same video right it didn't take but that's all right click next your fundraiser is ready to start let's start getting donations so you've set up your phone share with three to five friends and ask them to share post at least one social network send reminders to your friends so start sharing so now you're going to say here's your link here's my go to link my gofundme link and then you can also fire it straight to your facebook i don't know if i'm logged into facebook oh there you go there you go need a new camera Uh, you know, help me uh, get a new camera. This is cool because it picked up the picture from the YouTube video, even though I didn't upload it. So it's good that it does that. Um, please. Whatever it is. And you share it, right? Post to Facebook. I don't have any friends on that Facebook account because I don't use it. So don't worry that I've not asked. I've not just asked everybody for um, a donation. So obviously on Messenger as well. You can message somebody direct. You can tweet it. Go to Twitter, right? Uh, and uh, you can WhatsApp it. I'm not going to open WhatsApp because if someone's messaging me, it'll keep popping up. Or you can email it. And it'll it'll open up your email account. The, for some reason, Microsoft Outlook is my default email, but I don't use it. But it's just going to copy that link, and you can share the link, right? So let's go next. Sharing is important. Go back to share. Did you did you share? I have shared. Manage the fundraiser. So now the page is live. Here's the page. So here's my fundraiser. Here's the video. Hey guys, it's Paul. If that was a proper video, you'd see whatever you're doing. Here's the information. Here's the picture. The video that I said didn't work properly. Here are the... Um, uh, what is going to be the, the so this is the organizer and then below will be anybody who donates some information for them uh, and and your friends can donate they can click donate and they can share right right so let's let's just say we've all set up and we're going to manage our campaigns now so we come back to when we first log in my campaigns and here's one you might have multiple ones going off at the same time here's the manage uh, Here's obviously your progress bar because you want to get to a thousand. So I guess that's going to go up as you go through. Um, if you want to edit the campaign, obviously you can go here and change the start. If you want to change it to 2000, like it said you could. If you want to change information or the title's not working or you want to change anything in there, you can. Oh, this, the, and uh, there's the photos. There's the story. Uh, and any notifications. Send me an email every time as a go, mate. Send me a, a daily uh, or donation. So if you feel like you're going to get hundreds and hundreds of donations, you might want to say send me a daily highlight rather than every time somebody donates. Uh, here's your share options again in quick links. Uh, update. Post an update. Also, if you've got something you want to say, uh, thanks to all who have uh, donated so far. I have my on the perfect camera, right? Oh, perfect camera, whatever you're putting. You're just updating people with all their information, right? Do you want to send it to, um, well, this is going to send it all to donation and followers. This is going to send it to the campaign title, and it will fire it straight to Facebook and Twitter if you let it. So it's going to say connect to your page. Connect to Twitter to automatically do that. I'm not going to do it just in case any of the people that actually do follow me um, uh, for some reason click and pay, which I don't think they would. So now when I go back to my page, there's going to be an update. Look, thanks to all I've donated, I have my eye on a perfect camera, right? So your update's going to come there so you can tell people, right? Oh, I've changed me. I've changed my goal to 200 quid, haven't I? So again, uh, update here. Oh no, where was it? Edit. So I'm going to go back to edit, right? Change it to 200. 
I changed it to 2000. Did that change it back? I don't know why it said 200 goal there. Is it cached in a... I don't know what I've done there. But, oh. Anyway. Did it sign me out? Oh, no, I wasn't logged in. Right, so. I may have messed that up, so don't do that. 2,000, it does say it there. So, when I view... It still says 200. Huh. Might be a different goal, that. Might be a first goal or something. But, no, I don't know why it's saying that. I might have broke it. So, obviously, also in the... in in uh, the donors, I'm going to see information, I'm going to see comments. Anybody put a comment, any updates, thanks to all who have donated. Um, uh, I have my, oh, that's my update I've just done. The team, you've got any, um, if you've got any members in your team, you can add, I don't know what I've just clicked on there, fundraising team. Oh, I've just changed it to a team. And you can invite your team uh, to come and help you manage your, your um, page. Send. So it's pretty self-explanatory how to manage the back end. What I'll do now to finish off is um, I'll, I'll make a donation and show you what happens for both ends when a donation happens, right? Right, so let's talk about um, when a friend's going to come and donate and what they're going to get. So you're going to share it on Facebook or you're going to share the link. So you can just copy this link, send it to somebody and say, there's the link for you to donate or Facebook. Like we've seen, we've shared it, right? But if they don't, someone could come and we're going to do... Oh, there you go. I've just typed it in to test it. Paul Nicholson, YouTube. And it's come up with this. Uh, this target, right? So have I just... Am I being really stupid here and I've just put... Oh, it's jumped. It's changed again, hasn't it? 2,000, I don't know. 2,000, right? I don't know why it's not taking that. Right, now it says it. What's it going to do? So, yeah, that's funky. I don't know why that's not changing. If I put 20,000 in, will it change it? No. So, I don't know why that is. So, go for me. It ain't working for me, that bit. So, it needs, needs fixing, but... Um, so obviously someone comes to your page, they can dive in and you want them to donate, right? So donate, so I'm going to donate a pound, uh, go for me as 0% platform fee for organizing and relies on the generosity of donors like you to operate our service. Thank you for including a tip, which I think is a bit cheeky when we know that they get paid. 2.9% plus 25p. But they might say, look, we, you know, it's that that doesn't pay enough itself, which to me I would think it would. So make make it no or give them a tip. If you want to give them a tip, it's up to you. I would um uh, I would say go for me if you're watching this video, explain why the tip is really needed. Because I would think of all the money you're receiving from everybody in the world. That 2.9% should be enough to run your platform. So I'm going to put in my name, email address, and uh, oh, here you go. Hide name and comment from anyone but the organizer and team. So if you don't want other people to see what you've donated uh, and who's donated, you can tick this. And then in the comment section on the page, it won't say, um, so look, the 20,000 works up here. It won't show your name or anything, or you can leave it so that everybody can see who you are. Credit card information. Surprising they don't take PayPal, but that is um, probably something to do with uh, fees. So what I'm going to do, so I'm, you're going to put in your email, they're going to put in their email address, the postcode, and bank details. What I could have done was blur this bit out, but instead I'm going to... Um, I'm just going to cut you off and come back in after I've... And basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this credit card information out and press donate. And then next thing you'll see is me come back in. Right, so I've just pressed I've just pressed donate. What I didn't realise is the minimum donation is £5. So I donated £5. Uh, you can obviously now share a, share a link saying, I've just donated. I'm not logged into um, anything here. 
to help other people understand your fundraiser you can obviously copy the link and share it again and you're going to go through uh, show more support all the best with the new content big fan right add a photo if you want post a comment and like it's updated now maybe it just takes a bit of time for it to update um here we go paul nicholson uh was that the organized sorry comments paul nicholson donated five pounds all the best with the new content big fan so the um person that you've uh, the person has just donated, Paul donated. So I'm going to get, I'm going to go through what you're going to get. Uh, I'm not sure if the person got an email saying that you were subscribed or not, but I'm sure they would do eventually. I think they'd get a receipt. But they've they've donated, that's somebody who's donated, how simple it is to donate and uh, post a comment. So now we're going to talk about you managing your donations. So someone's just donated five pounds to you and we're going to go here need a new camera say thank you just going to jump to that comment i presumed it was going to jump yeah here we go say thanks uh write a note thank you just to begin this best uh, oh massive thanks in capital letters massive thanks i really appreciate it then you have thanked all of your donors back to donations right so now when we look through we can see there isn't any comments to, to deal with there isn't any uh, the donors are here you can thanks again what other options you got you can make anonymous 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 um, so if you don't want this to show up on your page you can make it anonymous i never thought that word would be so hard so look so what we'll do here is we'll see if it works make anonymous refresh that page and it should vanish there you go so now it's gone that one's gone so you didn't want that you didn't want anybody to see that one make public a lot easier to say refresh the page there we go. Come on, there's obviously some sort of cache in some sort of delay, so not everything's straight away. Uh, did I do that properly? So it would come back up, but just give it a bit of time, right? Um, and now you've got you've raised five pounds of your information, right? Now, invite email. Right, I'm just going to jump in and say if you want to issue a refund, it looks like. If you've got Stripe connected, you can go to the Stripe payment and refund it. M most people won't have Stripe, though, I don't think. So it says here, issuing refunds. If you wish like to issue a refund on your campaign, please contact us. Three to seven business days. So you're going to have to send them a message and tell them to refund somebody for you. You can't manually do it because I was looking there at the payments and wondering... Why isn't there a refund option? You would think it would say, uh, you know, for some reason you don't want this money from this person or that person said, oh, I thought it was for something else. There isn't an option to refund it. So you have to go and contact um, GoFundMe and they will issue the refund. Unless you've got Stripe, then you can do it, okay? So let's look at withdrawing the money. Someone sent you some money and you want to withdraw it. Up here, withdraw. And you're going to have to set up how or where to send the money, right? So take a minute to review these. You must set up withdrawals within 30 days of receiving your first donation. Or your donations will be paused. If you do not set up withdrawals within 90 days, all donations will be repunded. Setting up withdrawals will not end your campaign. Your campaign will continue to accept donations. Withdrawals to a bank account will take two to five days. Uh, need someone else? No problem. You can grant them sole access as part of the process. So you want to send someone else the money, uh, you can let them do it. So we're going to set up withdrawals. You're going to uh, an email with the subject, verify your GoFundMe email has been sent. Select confirm that email. Did I get that email? Da -da -da. I'm not sure I got it. 
Let's try again. Did I write my name in properly? Yeah. Let's try it again. So you need to verify your email address first and foremost, which I probably should have done straight away, but I didn't have the email. There we go. So there's, here we go. Verify your email. So verify it again. Say everything straight. I'm just going to jump you back here. So go back again to withdraw. Set up withdrawals. Um, for extra security before allowing. So we have to set up my phone. So 07. Oh, I'm reading my phone number out. Text me verification code. I'm looking at my phone. Come on. Here's the code 47318. So, what this is is 47318. It's dual verification, right? Which means it's extra security if someone hacks your account and changes, st changes stuff. Uh, uh, and tries to withdraw to a different bank or anything like that, they would have to have your phone because what it's going to do every time you log in, it's going to send you a code, right? So I'm going to click finish. Who will be who will withdraw funds? Me or someone else? Just me for this one. Uh, you have to put your street address in and your town uh, and everything first. Date of birth, your national insurance number. Oh God. I do know it, so I'm going to fill. So, what you, so let me just slow down. The next steps will be form information required to receive your funds. You will need to be 18 or older to continue. If your information cannot be verified, there is a chance you will be later asked to supply support documentation. Okay, so you're going to put here, if you like something else to draw, you can click here. I'm going to put my uh, address in. I'm going to put my phone number in again, my date of birth, and my national insurance number. And I'm going to click finish. So the next thing you're going to see is me when I, just after I've clicked finish, right? Right, so I put my information in and then it asked me to um, confirm everything. Everything went through. So now, obviously, where is it going to send the money? Which bank? So we're going to put in my bank details uh, and send it. I mean, I could show you this because, I mean, if you want to send me money because you've got my bank number, um, it's up to you, but no. I'm going to fill this in. The IBAN number you may not have, but obviously put your account number in, put your sort code in. So just asking you for your, for your address, name and address again, uh, and then it's going to fire it through. So I'm going to use my account number and sort code. I do have my IBAN number for uh, my business account, but I'll do it as a, a normal person and put in my account number and fill everything in. So again, next thing you will see is me pressing connect. So again... It asked me to put my information in and then verify it with the uh, account number again to make sure everything was correct. And I got this setup complete. You will start receiving withdrawals automatically within two to five business days. Got it. So my bank is set up. Uh, total raise after fees. Next withdrawal, not applicable. Last withdrawal, I guess this is new information. Um, Going to go to my bank. Automatically withdrawals every day. I don't know if you change that to weekly or monthly. So if you if you're gonna get a lot of little snippety money, you might want to say just donate, it, just just take it every month or every week. But if you want to take it on the day that you've been donated, uh, you can leave it as daily, right? So obviously that'll take three or five days. I don't know what exactly what it said, um, but it's gonna come four pounds sixty is gonna land in my bank within three to five days. Right, guys. So finally, let's talk about closing your GoFundMe. It, says here, are there any deadlines or time limits? No, never. With GoFundMe, there are no de deadlines or time limits. Your campaign will remain live until you choose to turn off donations or remove the campaign altogether. Most organisers leave their campaigns active indefinitely to refer back to kind comments and support that they receive. So effectively, you can leave it, just leave it. But if you have had something um, where you don't want people to... Um, uh, donate any more than you can turn it off. Now, from what I understand, you go back to here and go edit. Go to additional options. Uh, team, fundraiser. Allow donations. So what you can do to turn off donations is simply untick that. Save. And that will stop donations, but keep all your stuff live. Uh, on your site if you want to completely remove it remove my campaign from government your donors if applicable will still be able to see your campaign 
deactivate campaign. There may still be money in your account. If you deactivate without withdrawal, you will not be able to access your funds. Deactivating your account does not automatically issue refunds for your donors. So you can deactivate without withdrawal. I'll leave it because I'm just going to take that £4.60 back that I donated. But you click there and that closes the account totally. Right guys, so that is GoFundMe. I hope I've given you a decent introduction to it. I've shown you it is free for you to use. GoFundMe take a percentage of the donation amount and people can leave them a tip if they want to. Um, you can share your information. You can withdraw it on the same day of the donation once your information's uh, picked up. Um, it won't matter, I don't think, if you run over your goal. So if you've put a thousand pound but you raised three thousand, people can keep donating to it uh, as much as you want them to do. I believe because I've seen some that have got, uh, I've got they've raised more than I think the actual goal itself. Um, so I think that's true. You might want to check that because you might want to bump your goal if you get to it. But I think there's I've seen pages where they've got more money raised than what they asked for. Um, Easy to use. I'm sure the GoFundMe team are really helpful to, to get you sorted as well. Any questions, ask in the comments. Um, and I will uh, help out as best I can. And you can tell from this video I'm not an expert. I've never done it before. But I knew what GoFundMe was all about. I knew um, I knew how the, the, it's a crowdfunding network that doesn't make... When you use something like Kickstarter, if you put here 20,000, you couldn't... You couldn't take the money until the, all of it had been donated. Uh, but with GoFundMe, uh, you can take the money as soon as you need it. So, especially in current climate with coronavirus, uh, hopefully everybody's staying safe and, uh, and healthy-ish with that. Um, but also, like for this example, you need a new camera for your YouTube videos. Uh, but you haven't got enough subscribers, but you've got, you've got 200 proper fans, but not enough to make money on YouTube, but why not ask them to help you buy something or to take you to the next level? Or, you know, you're an artist or a writer or whatever creative endeavor. There's nothing wrong with asking your fans for money, I don't think, right? Um, so it'll be, it'll be interesting for you, won't it? It'll be interesting if you decide to use it. If you're in dire straits, I would say definitely use it because uh, I'm sure your friends and family would definitely. Uh, help out if they knew that, that you needed it and you could. I'll say any questions, uh, I'm here to help. Thanks for watching. See you soon.